Hey guys, Jerry at Jim Lux over here. We're going to talk about some forged through holes today, and in particular our duckbill system. Um, in our forged through hole category, we offer four different through holes. We offer them in a one inch diameter as well as an inch and a half diameter. Each of those comes in two lengths. We have our two and a half inch length and our four and a quarter inch length. That's so it can accommodate a bunch of different applications. Um, with these, we also offer our nylon adapters. The nylon adapters come in all sorts of different sizes uh, with barbs on them so you can attach them to whatever size hose you have for your particular application. Um, they come in straights and 90s and the ones for the one inch, uh, they start at 5 8 inch adapters and work all the way up to inch and a quarter. The ones for the inch and a half start at inch and a half and they end at two inches. Now we're going to talk about our duck bill. Um, we came up with this basically to uh, keep from having to use a flapper. The flapper's always breaking everything. They fall off. This thing actually sits up inside of your forged through hole. It only works for the inch, inch and a half through holes. We do not have a duck bill for a one inch through hole, so that's not even an option. But for the inch and a half, which is what most deck drains and things like that use where you would incorporate this, that's what we've got. So basically the way this works is everybody knows about your old through hole that normally has a flapper right here. What you do with the duck bill is you basically slide this duck bill right in the back side, sits in there nice and flush. You can see it right inside of there. It's basically like a little one-way valve in there. Once you get that in there, you uh, get whichever adapter you happen to need for that application. This is just a straight uh, inch and a half adapter, which works for a lot of uh, through-hole scuppers. So that's actually gonna sit on top of where you just put your duck bill in, screw on. That's actually what holds that duck bill in. Obviously, if you're using this uh, if you're using this above the water line, you can get away with using a 4200 on the threads and stuff like that. If you're below the water line, you definitely want to go with some 5200 on the threads and when you're installing this. Um, so that's basically what the duckbill system includes right there. It's three parts. Um, you can use straights. You can use these 90s. All boats are different, so every boat out there on the market basically needs uh, something different, it seems like. That's what it looks like with that on it. Duckbill sits in there just fine. People like to incorporate that duckbill is with a ball valve. Um, nowadays, if your through hole is below the water line, it is uh, to be in compliance with ABYC standards, you have to have a ball valve incorporated. So what some people will even do is put that duckbill in here, take your inch and a half ball valve. This is one of our electro polished ball valves. Uh, we also offer a nylon ball valve. Slide it in this into the ball valve. That'll take care of that side of it. On this side, you're gonna incorporate one of our electro polished pipe nipples. This is the inch and a half to go with this ball valve. It slides in this side. Take your uh, nylon adapter, put that on the end here. Now you're all set and you're in compliance with ABYC standards. If you happen to have a through hole that fails or something, turn your ball valve handle, you can shut the water off, you're not going to sink your boat. I want to talk a little more in depth with you guys about our duck bill scupper. Here it is right here. Um, you can see it's got kind of a funny shape. Um, basically, it goes right inside the back side of your through hole here, and water can go in this way, but not back in this way. A lot of people don't know exactly how it works. Basically, this goes in the back side of the through hole like I showed y'all earlier. Um, water will go in this way, it will not come back in this way, and the reason is it's kind of like a little one-way valve. You can see that if water comes this way, it's going to force this open. You can see how it opens like that right there. If water comes back this way, it's going to come against here and keep it from going in at all. That's how it keeps the water from coming back onto your deck. This is um, also up inside the through hole. Another good thing about that is the sun doesn't beat it up over time, so it's going to last a whole lot longer in your boat. That's pretty much it right there. Those are all the parts of it. Uh, it makes things a lot easier for the, you know, the regular guy that's just trying to upgrade his boat or something because there's only four through holes involved in this whole system and a bunch of different adapters. You don't have to go through the cast through holes where there's multiple, multiple different parts. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out as far as uh, keeping water out of the bottom of your boat.